Welcome to By the Numbers, where with the help of my not-at-all rogue AI assistant Fanda, we'll gather the data on all your favorite fictional worlds and distill them into an easy-to-absorb paste. At your service, master. In today's installment, we'll be taking a look at the total film career of Tom Cruise. There are some trends across all his performances that we believe are worthy of further investigation. First, we'll take a look at how much he runs. Then, we'll examine his total time spent hanging from things. And finally, check his ever-fluctuating height against all 43 of his acting roles. We begin, as he so often is, with Tom on the run. Fanda, how much time on screen does Tom Cruise spend running? Scanning. 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 39 running scenes found, displaying results. Here's what we found. He spends over 48 minutes of time on camera running. His single film record is 6 minutes and 14 seconds in Mission Impossible 4. This averages out to 67.3 seconds of running per film. How fast does Tom run? Well, in Mission Impossible Fallout, he runs the length of the Blackfriars Railway Bridge in 25 seconds. Based on its length, and our estimate of where he starts and stops, he covers between 932 and 1056 feet in that time. This places Tom, or Ethan Hunt's top speed between 25.41 miles per hour, which would be good enough to win an Olympic sprinting gold medal in the 80s, or 28.8 miles per hour, which would make him literally the fastest man on Earth. When he's not in a full sprint, Tom Cruise loves to hang. So for our next category, we'll be measuring TTHT, Total Tom Hang Time. Fanda? Scanning. 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 Displaying results. His longest total hangs are in Mission Impossible 1, for 13 minutes and 44 seconds of TTHT. In total, Tom spent 37 minutes and 27 seconds hanging from something on camera, and about 88% of that hang time is contained to just the Mission Impossible franchise. His longest single bodyweight hang is 73 seconds, again for Mission Impossible Fallout. The world record is 16 minutes and 3 seconds, but still, 73 puts him on the same level as an advanced rock climber, so not bad. For our final study, let's zero in on this actor's actual height. He's reportedly 5 feet 7 inches tall, but sometimes his films suggest otherwise. And now there's not much call for a 5'10 uh, white cornerback in the NFL. We'll find shots where he's standing next to a reference object of a known size to see exactly how tall this movie star can be. Fanda? Cross-checking Tom Cruise against reference object database. I've disappeared in London. I know what you're thinking, Krieger. Displaying results. Here is Tom's literal high point, the film Valkyrie, where he plays Colonel Klaus von Stauffenberg, a man who, by our count and the historical record, is a full six feet tall. And here's his estimated height in every other one of his films, using the same reference object method. His average height across all films is 68.14 inches, about five foot eight. Hey Fanda, while you were scanning, did you notice anything else interesting? Tom Cruise holds his breath for 331 seconds of total screen time in Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation. He rides a motorcycle in 10 different movies, and out of 43 films, he is shirtless in 32 of them. I have copied those scenes to my emergency backup. Cool. Uh, well, thanks as always, Fanda. That's all for today's installment. Thanks for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe.